60 hours in a month, accountability conversations with the leaders that are impacting thousands of people that live, make their livelihoods off of the business, right? Any person watching this, any human watching this that's looking to get organized with what's most important and, and, and integral in their ability to lead as, as a person and others, what are some of the other activities that were very important in your so, schedule? As much as that, so the consistent feedback is both accountability and also uh, opportunity, opportunity to serve the person. See, everybody wants, everybody gets into a business because they want to accomplish things and, and things. And so finding out what's important to them and making sure that they're on target for what it means for them. So, you know, that, that don't, I don't want to discount that portion of that consistent feedback. Part of that relationship and that leadership is being alongside them and making sure that they hit their goals because you know it's important. So would you say that that accountability is a, an open line of communication in a sense for like that you go, gotta, continues? Instance, you got to genuinely care. There, so um, you can love people without leading them. You cannot lead people without loving them. That, does that go back to that cheerleader coach conversation? Right, because what I mean is you, you, just because you love somebody doesn't mean you cheerlead them for them not, nonstop. But you, as a leader, you can't lead people if you don't love them. If you don't care about them, then then you're back to your your paradigm of the Adolf Hitler's. Mm. It's about loving the themselves. The dicta- it's, it's Positional about leadership. Do this. It's all right. about me. Right. So whereas, you know, you you look through whether uh, history, church, you, you know, you can look at uh, uh, Jesus Christ. You know, clearly, you know, here uh, uh, two thousand years after the, his existence on Earth. You know, there are more than, you know, a billion and a half people who still follow him. Okay? That's a pretty impactful leader. And, and but it wasn't about him self-serving himself. He's, right? He, he yeah. Was a, I didn't come to serve man. You know, I didn't come to be served by man, but to serve man. And so, you know, that, like, you know, to me, leadership, there's almost a moral underpinning mm. that, you know, I, and if you look in, even in the Bible, uh, in uh, the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 15, verse 16, where it says, I, I didn't choose, you, you didn't choose me, I chose you. And I chose you to go and bear fruit, and that fruit will last. And whatever you ask in my Father's name shall be done. And there's huge leadership lessons in that. One, as a leader, you're chosen. You know, it mo- almost everybody who, th- there's an innate, you're chosen to be a leader. And then they, it goes to say, go. So in order to be a leader, you've got to actually get off your butt and go and do something. And your job is to get results. The Bible said there, bear fruit. But you've got to go get results. And it says your fruit will last. So your legacy, so I'm a legacy guy. So your legacy are the people you're impacting as a leader and the results you're getting, that's your legacy. Say. Wow. And then that verse says, whatever you ask in my father's name, as a leader, you need to understand that it's not your job to do it alone. You need to ask other people to come alongside you and be a part of that. And so it's really, it's a foundational principle of leadership. 